Welcome back to the channel everyone. So as you guys know, Samsung recently released or announced their Samsung Galaxy S20 lineup including the Galaxy Z Flip and this really made me think that Samsung kind of knows what they're doing so the Z Flip, the foldable phone, they've been doing that for a minute and we haven't really seen too many wide competitors besides Motorola Razr and that Huawei phone so I don't think I'm really freaking out about that one but the S20 Ultra is something that I really was kind of focused on because it's just a standard phone with a bigger display that's more powerful than the S20 Plus but it offers more and there's really not that many competitors behind it right now so that makes me think that Apple could essentially release an iPhone 12 Ultra and this actually kind of goes in hand with some of the rumors we heard earlier I think late last year where we heard that Apple might be releasing a notchless iPhone of this year that's going to be basically for the most part bezel-less and it's going to be bigger than the Pro Max and it's going to be a pretty powerful phone and I think this kind of matches those rumors if if they follow what Samsung did and release a competitor of the S20 Ultra, this might be what we expect. Now, it could be multiple types, okay? It could either be like a foldable phone, like I've like I've shown you in some of these pictures, or it could be a standard display, just like something like a Pro Max. And either or, I think both are perfectly fine. But if it is foldable, it could be something like what you see here. Now, it might be notchless, and I think it is going to be notchless if they're going to try to charge that price tag for it. And if it still has a notch, I don't think people are going to be happy about it. They're going to see the S20 Ultra, they're going to see the iPhone 12 Ultra, and they're going to be like, okay, the S20 Ultra looks so much better, and I think they're probably going to go that route. That way it makes way more sense in my opinion. And the cool thing is, is that it will probably have a bigger display overall than the 11 Pro Max. Actually, I know it's going to have a bigger display because there's no way they're going to sell it for the same price with that. However, if they do have the same screen for it, I still think a lot of people will pay a premium for an iPhone that does not have a notch on it. That seems to be like the new home button in a way, you know what I mean? Like people used to want to go update just to get rid of that home button so they can have like the face ID and new iPhone, all that stuff. I think people would want to update now to get the phone that gets rid of the notch to be kind of, you know, better than everyone else, I think. And I think if Apple were to do this, maybe they would do it in a folding factor. That way it kind of covers two bases. It covers the Z Flip competitor and also the S20 Ultra competitor. That would be really, really cool. And this thing is not going to be cheap at all. It's probably going to end up costing around like that $1,400 price tag. The same type of price tag that's on the S20 Ultra, which is a crazy price tag. I mean, that's a ton of money to spend on a phone. Like I said, you can pick up like a $50 iPhone SE and be set for a while. You can go pick up like an iPhone 10 for like 400 bucks and be set. But for a phone like this, I mean, I think it's going to be pretty cool in my opinion. I think it's probably going to bring a lot to the table and it's going to bring a lot of innovation. But again, I don't know if it's going to be a combined, you know, foldable phone and the iPhone 12 Ultra or if they're going to be two separate phones. But if I had to say it, Apple will definitely release a foldable phone at some point. They're just going to have to. And they're also going to release a notchless phone at some point because they're just going to have to. You know what I mean? It goes both ways. And if I have to say it, I think Apple will probably end up doing it this year. That way the Galaxy S20 Ultra can have a competitor of some sort. We've seen times before where Samsung releases plus versions and max versions and stuff. And Apple would go ahead and release plus versions and have max versions as well. So they both go hand in hand. I think Apple wants to kind of ball out this year and get a ton of market share. And if they're not going to do that if they don't release a phone that doesn't wow everybody. You know, if they release another cycle of phones that just have notches, I don't think a lot of people are going to freak out about it too much. And they're just going to be kind of bored of it because I'm honestly going to get a bored of Apple too. You know what I mean? So I think that really pretty much covers it. Let me know what you guys think of the iPhone 12 Ultra. Would you guys like to see it or are you saying for them to keep it and don't even release it? Let me know in the comment section below. That's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit that like button. That means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out for them.